So, hello everybody and a warm welcome here from the IGEL headquarter in Bremen, Germany. Thanks for joining our release information about the Windows 10 Internet of Things Enterprise version of our IGEL Thin clients. Please let me introduce myself. My name is Robin Geide. I'm a systems engineer working in the pre-sales department in the IGEL headquarter in Germany. If you have any questions, you will get some space at the end of the webinar. The session will be recorded and sent by mail to you after the webinar ends. If there's any problem with the webinar, some technical description or something else, please feel free to write me your question or your um, problem in the checkbox of your go-to webinar tool. So let's see what I prepared for today, our content or agenda. We have a look about the features and functions in the new Windows 10. We have a look on the target groups. I give an explanation about IGEL and our concept of endpoint management. And I finished with a live demonstration. We'll look on a Windows 10 desktop and look about the management opportunities in our universal management suite. So let's have a look on the features. Here. We compared our both versions of Windows thin clients. Here we have the older version about the Windows 7 Plus module. And here is the new Windows 10 Internet of Things. So let's have a look on the applications and receiver we added in the new version. So there's a Citrix receiver in the version 4.7. Of course, the Citrix HDX real-time media engine up to version 2.2.100. And I think the VMware Horizon client is the newest one you will get on the market. It's the 442 we added in this firmware. The RDP client is up to version 10.2. And um, one important thing I uh, think, in the past we choose a Zumata PDF reader. And um, now in the newest version we take the original Adobe PDF reader in the version 15.23. So I'll give you a short moment to look on your own on this slide before I continue with the next slides. Okay, let's go on. So I think write protection is an important thing on a thin client. So in the past, we had a Firebase write filter and uh, without any Microsoft updates pre-install. And from now on, we have a unified write filter, but not only the name had changed, we also had a new feature. It also works for registry keys. And we have pre-installed Microsoft updates and in a new version, we support multi-touch screens. So let's have a word for the unified write filter. How does it work? Um, you deactivate the write filter, you install the apps or drivers, you are able to create a snapshot and deploy your snapshot, and finally you activate the write filter again and have a protected system. So in the past, you need some partial updates for language packs. And this is not necessary anymore because um, there are pre-installed languages in the Windows 10 version. And these are the languages which are available. Some important facts. There will no upgrade pair pass for our older VES7 devices. The Windows 10 Internet of Things is only available with our UD5 and UD6 devices in the moment. Further devices are planned. 
The devices UD3 and UD9 based on Windows 7 are available until October 2017. And for the UD5 and UD6, you can choose until October 2017 if you like to have a Windows 7 or a Windows 10 device. So let's have a look on the target groups. So I think the Windows 10 Internet of Things target groups are, for example, businesses across all verticals who need flexibility to use their own software solution, different peripheral devices, for example, dictation or scan devices or something like this, drive digital transformation initiatives and leverage Internet of Things connected devices. So if there's any problem with our Agile OS based on the Linux devices, perhaps you need a Windows 10 device. Just some sentences about our UMA, Unified Management Agent. We also created the software for your FAT clients. So if you have any notebook or PC and there's running an existing Windows 10 or Windows 7, you are able to install our Unified Management Agent, UMA, and have a full, full managed client over our Universal Management Suite, which had also a full operating system standalone. And if you don't need any FAT client or um, active device running, you can choose our thin clients with Windows 10. So let's have some words about Agile. Why do you choose Agile? Well, we've got a simple management, we have smart user experience, and our system is extremely secure. So we have a read-only file system, and um, so you can make sure to be protect and safe. And of course, we got our universal management suite, which simplifies the management of complex and diverse operating systems. Um, you are able to use partial updates, and you are able to use system updates in a snap with snapshotting. Of course, the system is future-proofed because we have got current operating system with long-term support from Microsoft. We have the Idle Hardware Warranty five years if you are a registered customer, and we have the software maintenance three years after end of life. You will get regular firmware updates from Idle, and you will also get Microsoft updates directly from Microsoft. The technical support is included. And let's talk about the performance. With our Windows 10 Internet of Things devices, we have increased capacity for drivers and applications. We have high performance graphic capabilities because of the UD5 and UD6 devices, which will only get it in a moment. And um, of course, the boot is much faster than you are used to have to our Windows 7 devices. We've got 4 GB RAM, all codecs are pre-installed, and once again we support from now on the multi-touch screens. And we talked about the unified write filter, UWF, it prevents you from a virus and one special hint, the Windows Defender is pre-installed and active as factory default. So, and now it's time to have a look on the system. We've got here a universal management suite, which included a W10 device. And I've got here prepared a virtual machine, 
with our Windows 10 OS. So as you can see here, it's a normal Windows 10 desktop. We have added here a session, a Horizon client session, and we have here our management suite. And for example, we have here a Citrix session. Let's have a look on the profile. So this is the configuration of this session. I created an ECA session named Test Idle with the starting methods on the start menu and on the desktop. So this is my profile. It's just for testing, though there's nothing special in, no server configured, something else. And now I take my profile and give it up to the W10 folder where my thin client is included. I like to take changes effect from now and we have a look on the thin client. There's a message, new configuration, yep. And there is my new session. So just by using our universal management suite, you are able to configure your W10 devices. You can always choose if you like to make the changes by our universal management suite or if you like to use the Windows system. Well, I think now we have a look and feel of our devices. You are able to test all our devices and software products for 30 days at IGEL. And now I'm finished with the webinar. If you have any questions, please take our knowledge base, edocs.igel.com. If you need any assistance, you can contact the IGEL support directly. So we are located in Germany, plus 49421 for Bremen, 52094 and 2222. Okay, that's all for now from my side. Thanks for joining my webinar. Have a great day wherever you are. I hope to hear and see you again in the next update webinars. And now it's time for your questions. Thanks and bye-bye directly from the North Sea from Bremen in Germany.